Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Ooh, I love the energy. How y'all doing? My name is Krista Jackson. You guys may have seen me on TikTok doing basketball things. You may have seen me playing with the Harlem Globetrotters. You may have seen me on a Netflix show called The Circle. But today I have the honor and pleasure of being your MC for this event where we're able to bring the community together. We're able to give back to the community. Now, as we all know, Things have changed. People aren't going outside as much. Kids aren't really going outside as much. But we know the youth is our future, right? Yeah. But it's hard to get them off of the games. It's hard to get them off of the phone. Y'all just be wanting to TikTok all the time. <laughs> but we want y'all outside and active, right? But there's sometimes there's not a safe place, a safe place for them to be active. But that's the reason why Buffalo Wild Wings and Mountain Dew Legend came together with Project Backboard to be able to give back to the community, refurbish a court in this community so that the kids can have a safe place to play. Yes. yes. I know, I wish I had that when I was younger. It was definitely hard to find a place to play. So that's why I would have to say we went to the track a lot when my dad and when I played. It's very unorthodox. I know, I know. But I want to give a chance for the to the people who were able to put this all together and thank them and give them a chance to speak a little bit. And we will start off with Kyle Lazarus with PepsiCo Representative. Good morning, everyone. Well, Kyle Lazar is here from PepsiCo. Thank you so much for coming out. I'm here representing both Buffalo Wild Wings and PepsiCo. And, um, you know, we're really excited to be here. You know, we share a love of the game of basketball, the same as all of you do. And, you know, with that, to be able to partner with Asia Wilson, an absolute legend of the game, um, and revamp this court for her hometown, it, it was an unbelievable serendipitous project that came together. And so that shared passion we have and values for supporting local communities and youth sports really made this partnership and the project entirely possible. And so I want to really thank her for her involvement in this. Um, I also want to give a shout out and recognize the Project Blackboard and uh, Charmaine and Sienna Minifield here for their vision as they worked really diligently for the amazing artwork you have behind you and refurbishing this court. So thank you. And of course, we also want to thank the city of Columbia. Um, thank you for welcoming us into your home, making us a part of this and allowing us to, to have an impact here. We really appreciate your partnership. So with that, I would just want to say one last word to the, the future legends who are here. Um, please take a full advantage of this space, get outside, enjoy, play, have fun, and really continue to thrive on and off the court. And you really are the future. We, we look forward to seeing what you all do. And so with that, please join me in welcoming your city manager, Teresa Wilson. First and foremost, of course, to see Asia in town. Hey, girl. <laughs> and then all of our wonderful Eau Claire High School young ladies right behind her, our up and coming stars. So, as Carissa said and Cal mentioned, across the country, Project Batboard has brought large scale works of art to communities and spaces where they can easily be seen and enjoyed by everyone. And I think we see these bright, beautiful colors. And so, today it's thrilling to be here for the dedication of this incredible urban tapestry from artist Charmaine Minifield, which is the result of Project Batboard's partnership with our own Columbia Parks and Recreation Department. I want to thank Project Batboard board as well as project partners Buffalo Wow Wings, Pepsi and Mountain Dew for bringing this project to Columbia and Hyatt Park. Those well-loved companies not only fund these art projects but make the local community connections, help identify and coordinate with the artists, bringing talent and resources we need to transform the courts and provide the overall support to ensure completion of these projects. I'm going to go off script a little bit because my staff knows I do that sometimes. But this donation, this right here, may, allows the city to be able to do even more. Because now this is done and it's something we always wanted to do so we can focus resources to continue to make Hyatt Park and this community even better. So it's, it's very transformational. It's very meaningful. And I want to thank our own Parks and Recreation Department. Where are they? Because it wouldn't have happened without them. Under the 
leadership of Assistant City Manager Henry Simons and Parks and Recreation Dir Director Randy Davis. Um, they always lead from the front. So proud of them. And finally, Asia, from one homegrown girl to another, <laughs> I am so proud of you. Um, I watched you grow up and all the accolades you have are meaningful, well deserved, but honestly for me, it's when I see your confidence and your grace and character instilled by the two people on both sides of you, my friends, Eva and Roscoe, it makes it mean everything. Eva so, and yeah. <laughs> so, um, when they're beaming the way they are, it is, means everything. So keep doing what you do, girl. We're proud of you. All right, so next up we have Mayor Daniel J. Riggerman. Well, you know, we're a little off script this morning because um, I thought we were supposed to hear it from the band before um, I got up here because, you know, part of my remarks this morning was recognizing <laughs> our Benedict Tigers over there. <laughs> and I will tell you, it's exciting. Some of y'all may not know, but they're going to be in the Macy's Day Parade in two weeks. <laughs> Re rep representing, it's just a honeybee, Asia. <laughs> but also have to give out, I know they're going to have a great halftime show today because Benedict is playing Tuskegee and the championship game in Columbia, South Carolina today. Very excited about that. We're also going to hear this morning from Mimi Draft, the president of the Hyatt Park, uh, Keenan Terrace neighborhood, about how this is so impactful for the community. Um, but a collaborative effort like this, large scale effort, wouldn't happen, and it wouldn't happen today if it wasn't for, for Asia's support. And, and, you know, we talk a lot about former Lady Gamecock, but she was also the freshman SEC Player of the Year and AP Player of the Year three times and the All SEC Player three times. Let's not even forget about um, MVP, block leader, all defensive. I mean, I could sit up here for the next two hours talking about all these accolades, but I agree with Miss Wilson. It's your grace. It's, it's what you learn from your parents about giving back and being part of the community that is probably the top. That's a Hall of Famer for me, and thank you for being part of our community. Thank you for remembering Columbia, South Carolina, even though you love being in Vegas. We love you back here. Uh, you may be number 22 on the court, but you're number one in our hearts, and we appreciate it all that you're here and you're doing what you're doing. But you also, I encourage everybody to come out and take a look at what Charmaine has put together here in this thing. What beautiful, beautiful. Y'all you de deserve more than a hand, but I think we're going to start with that. It's wonderful. Thanks, everybody, from out here. Young ladies, young lady shamrocks, we hope to see you here next time. Uh huh. Giving back to your community as y'all continue to soar both academically, athletically, and in life. Thank you. I would also like to um, just say how beautiful of a day. I was told that it's been really rainy, and what a perfect day for the sun to shine, right? Yeah. Absolutely. All right, next we have... Uh, Councilwoman Tina Herbert. Good morning, everyone. I'm going to go off script, too. That's what we do sometimes. Um, but no, this is a full circle moment for me because the first time I heard about Asia was in a city council meeting. And I was like, who is Asia? And, was, and uh, someone was like, you got to meet Asia. You got to see who Asia is. And I was just like, well, I don't understand what the big deal is because, you know, my family had that. We got ballers, too. Um, little did I know, little did I know what Asia would become. And so I've watched you playing and with the mentor it's been wonderful to watch your maturity um, and you and I had to disagree with Miss Wilson um, to go away and then to be able to give back and be the example to other kids who want to play ball and show them how it can be done and done the right way is so much of what we need these days so I'm very grateful to you and your parents because I know they instilled all of that into you so to the script 
<laughs> All right, the dazzling new large-scale artwork from Charmaine Minifield helps to center Hyatt Park as a cultural center for Eau Claire and further North, North Columbia communities. Charmaine's brilliant, art, brilliant artwork, like the vivid mural bringing life on the side of the building, speaks to this community, but it also speaks of this community. Public art like Charmaine's mural and this basketball court allows us to reveal the stories about ourselves, our communities, our perspectives on our past, and the vision of a shared future. And it's all for free and all for everyone to see. So again, we do want everyone to come out and play on play out here, get some exercise in. Um, and and we're, I will tell you, we're having a hard time getting kids to come back out and play ball. So I'm hoping that the excitement of this particular part and what Asia has done here will encourage the kids to come out. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I know if I, as a child, if I saw a court like this, I'd be on it every day, every morning, you know, but yes, okay. Next is gonna be President Mimi Draft with Hyatt Park Keenan Terrence Neighborhood Association. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the Hyatt Park Keenan Terrace Neighborhood Association, um, we want to give a huge thank you to PepsiCo and Buffalo Wild Wings, to Asia Wilson, to Project Backboard, to Miss Minifield, and especially the city's parks department for putting this together for us. Um, I am also going to go off script and say I am an Eau Claire High School graduate. <laughs> Shamrocks, and my sister and her husband are Benedict alum, and I think what we all know, I think what we all know about this area is that there's something special and uh, beautiful about the North Main Corridor, and I'm just touched, and the community is also touched that you all um, brought this beautiful artwork installation to us, and so just thank you again from the bottom of our hearts, and I can't wait to see some kids out here as well. Y'all have a good morning. I'm back, like I ain't never left. <laughs> um, I also want to recognize Council Taylor and Council Duval. Thank you so much for participating in this as well. Give them a round of applause. Thank you. All right. Huh. Now the time you guys have all been waiting for. I feel like I need like a beat or something like for this, like a doom doom, a doom doom. Come on, somebody, come on. That could be stops. That could be the drums. Come on, I need something. We got someone we got to bring out. Yeah. All right. For the moment, you all have all been waiting for. Gamecock legend, national champion, two-time WMVP. We got reigning world champ, Las Vegas Aces player, TikTok sensation. Four shots in. If you know, you know. Asia Wilson! Woo! Oh my goodness. That was funny. No. Oh man, four shots in. Good gracious. It's not even noon yet. <laughs> uh, but no, um, thank you so much uh, for everything. This has been uh, a huge, huge weekend so far, and I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for uh, people around me that loves me. Uh, and I think Columbia is number one always in my heart. That's home no matter what. I know I live in Vegas, but uh, I never lose sight of where I come from. And, and, and Columbia has done, the state of South Carolina has done so much for me. Um, but I got to first thank my agent, Jade, of course, uh, for just partner partnering me with with people that really care about uh, Asia more than the basketball player and that is Buffalo Wild Wings and Mountain Dew and Pepsi all the way um, it's a joy to be a part of that family because they 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 allow me to be who I really am and that is to really be in a community and help the next generation I'm all about planting seeds I'm all about what can we do better how can we grow better as just people um, and even as players so uh, I can't think enough uh, for everyone I mean this court is beautiful uh, 
uh, when we were taking pictures, she was just like, you got to see the wings. And I look and it's wings like this so big, uh, especially in this community, because my parents, my grandparents did not live too far from here. So to come back and to give back, um, it's huge to me. And there I am going off script. I got to make sure I uh, <laughs> hit every point because I don't want to miss anyone out. But this court is going to be special uh, because it gives the young generation an opportunity to be the next Asia Wilson, the next LeBron James, the next whoever you want to name. Uh, and that's where it all goes. And I know it's hard to get kids out here uh, because, of course, everybody wants to be on their phones. Everybody want to TikTok. Everybody want to be famous and influenced. But uh, and there's nothing like the sun. You got to get that. That's huge. It's always good to get your body moving a little bit. Uh, but it's been a joy to watch this all come together. I see my BCBC, BC, you know, you know, Tigers over there. <laughs> uh, uh, I love seeing Eau Claire out here as well. My dad uh, went there, kind of got some buckets there. Uh, but no, um, this has been great. Uh, I love to see it come to life. This is going to be probably my baby. I'm, every time I'm coming back here, I'm pretty sure I'm going to drive by here just to make sure somebody out on the court, whether you're getting a bucket or just walking, enjoying some uh, some nice little sun, sunshine. So thank you. Can't thank y'all enough. I know I said that so many times, but no, I'm truly grateful and blessed to be able to have this in our community and bring it to life. So let's have some fun on it. Enjoy the day. Hopefully BC, get they, you know, get they dub. And yeah, let's just have a good time. So thank you. Ah! Ah, yeah, I like it. <laughs> but thank you so much. <laughs> we are Columbia.